Love. Love is one of the most fundamental and powerful emotions that we experience as human beings. We form complex and deep relationships with others through love, and it plays an incomparable role in reminding us that we are alive. However, throughout history, certain love has been condemned, polarized, and snuffed out due to ignorance. This is referring to, of course, the lesbian, gay, bisexual, trans, and queer people who historically have been disallowed from existing in their communities, countries, and world. Why did the gay rights movement begin? Constant and consistent oppressions of liberty began to boil over in the minds and spirits of queer people, which would soon lead to an inevitable fight back. Are you tired of being oppressed? Yes. The date? June 28, 1969. The place in question? A little establishment where on a Saturday one could find trans women and gay men alike mingling over glasses of whiskey, wine, or shots of tequila. In short terms, it was a gay bar, referred to as the likes of the Stonewall Inn. But June 28, 1969 was no ordinary Saturday. Creeping through time, tensions between the gay community and police were building up from Dewey sit-ins in Philadelphia, 1965. In 1965, Clark Pollock started the spark that ignited a plethora of other sit-ins and protests for the advocation of gay and trans rights against Dewey's discriminatory restaurant policy. This policy insisted it was Dewey's inherent right to deny a service to those who were perceived as non-gender conforming or people who expressed their homosexuality openly. Pollock's and the Janus Society's efforts cemented a milestone for LGBTQ plus rights as Dewey's nullified their policy. The Black Cat Tavern Riots in L.A., 1967. It was New Year's Day, a time for new beginnings, and a huge mark for strides in the LGBTQ plus community at the Black Cat Tavern. In response to the beatings and arrests of queer peoples for subtle displays of affection from unaggravated, infiltrated cops, demonstrators protested against the all-too-common police brutality queer people faced through organized marches, signifying Black Cat as the birthplace for future movements such as Stonewall. Though it is debated through blurred perspectives during a chaotic time, Marsha P. Johnson is credited with throwing the first brick at Stonewall. During the Stonewall riots, people of all queer identities and sexualities refused to stay complacent to consistent police raids in their bars, riddled with unjust arrests of people for loving who they love and being who they are. This monumental event would become the catalyst for the ongoing LGBTQ plus equal rights movement that still persists today. Get ready kids, it's time for Fun Facts! <laughs> One example of a protest that sparked positive change for the queer community was the 1966 Sip-In, in which a group of gay men who refused to leave Julius's bar after being denied service due to their sexuality. At the time, any acts of disorderly behavior could get a bar shut down permanently, and of course by disorderly, the police meant gay. The sip-in, haha, get it, forced the New York Liquor Service to no longer be able to deny service to gay people. Another, far more recent success of the movement was the legalization of gay marriage in the United States in June of 2015. Despite the successes of the gay and queer rights movement, the fight for equal treatment and systemic justice was not over. This was highlighted during the Supreme Court case of the Masterpiece Cake Shop versus Colorado Civil Rights Commission in 2017. 
The case of the Masterpiece Cake Shop versus the Colorado Civil Rights Commission was, in short, about a wedding cake for a gay couple. The couple went to Masterpiece Cakes in search of someone to make their wedding cake. Masterpiece refused to make the cake as they felt it was their intrinsic right to refuse, as they were expressing their freedom of religion. However, the couple, Charlie Craig and David Mullins, felt it was within their right to freedom of speech to express their homosexuality openly, and it was immoral and incorrect for them to be turned away. In the end, Masterpiece Cake Shop won with the ruling that because the court found that members of the Colorado Civil Rights Commission had expressed hostility to religion, it concluded that there was a violation of the Establishment Clause without the need to reach the questions that had been briefed and argued considering whether it would violate the First Amendment speech or religion clauses to hold Phillips liable for his refusal to design and bake a cake for a same-sex wedding. This ruling meant that discrimination was going to be allowed to continue under the basis of freedom of religion. This recent case was just one example of a great disappointment to progress. Another terrifying display of the power that the ignorant hold against the queer community was revealed during the AIDS epidemic in the 80s, where there was a complete disregard and abhorrent inaction toward the impact of AIDS on the queer community. A lack of education, resources, and effort from the United States government was the driving force for the widespread deaths and mass suffering of queer people. In recent news, it is currently June, or Pride Month. Today, we see the movement continue through celebrations of diversity, such as the Pride Parade, as well as the corporate marketing and the trivialization of the fight for equal rights. Recently, the fight for true justice and equality has been overshadowed by what is known as corporate pride. This is a phenomenon in which corporations do not see pride as a protest and riot that it once was, but instead as an opportunity to sell rainbows to queer people and mandate pride with police officers. The irony is painful. Now for the weather report. To you, Jim. Thanks, Chad. Looks like here on the horizon, you'll see an upcoming surge of companies marketing their gimmicks to LGBTQ plus all around the nation. And to the West, observe the police force mandating what once was a right against the police force itself. This summer, expect companies to view our plight as profit. Be wary of who writes history books. And remember, the corporate rainbow will turn into empty blue skies come July 4th. This has been the history of the LGBTQ plus civil rights movement. And remember, Mr. K, give us a good grade. A plus! Thank you. Thanks.